morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Today is the eve of the Feast of Christ the King. This is tomorrow, or the last Sunday of the church is here. Next Sunday, Advent Sunday, we we'll begin a new church here. So the year goes from Advent to Advent. So today is the last weekend of the church is here. And we normally celebrate the Feast of Christ the King. Christ is our King. King of our lives. King of our hearts. King of the world. Let us pray. But we pause, O Lord, and listen, that all thy children and thy most gracious Savior, and further with thy continued help, that all our work be done to the children and enemies, and may finally obtain everlasting life in Christ our Lord. Amen. Into thy hand, 193. We trace the Lord as King, 193. <laughs> Thy kingdom, and from you no secrets are hidden. 
So Christ wants you to think of him as king, but in a servant role. That we will take care of one another. When I need service, you serve me. When you need service, I serve you. When we are going to help for one another. We ought to take care of him. That's the role that Christ wants you to think of him as king. When I'm hungry, you give me some food. When you're hungry, I give you some food. That's how Christians are supposed to take care of each other. That's why the church is often, um, many churches often just do a lot of feeding programs, whether groceries or food or whatever. We also do things that many of you don't know about. We do rent assistance, we do um, uh, medical assistance uh, for people who can't make their medical bills. And we do all that to show you that the church is supposed to be a servant in a servant role. And so my brothers and sisters, in this little homily, I want you to think of, yes, Christ is king, but what kind of king? He's a king of servants. What kind of king should he be? He should be a, a servant who serves. You want to be a good subject of the king. That's what a king or a queen calls their, their people subjects. If you want to be a good subject of the king, then you got to not serve. And that requires humility. That requires no big pump of that to an arrogance. Nobody's better than you, and you ain't better than nobody. We all need, we all need help sometimes. Amen. I don't believe we need help sometimes. We all need help sometimes. So that's the role I want to leave with you this, this, this morning as Christ the King. Not a big king sitting on his throne, calling you all to come and bring in grapes and wine, but a king who wants you to go and serve, and serve up. So as I close, that leads, that leads me to ask you this question. What are you, a sheep or a goat? You need to think about that. Particularly this week as we prepare for Advent. As we prepare for that, that season of Advent in which we think about Christ coming back a second time. Not only a baby at Christmas, but when he comes back to judge the world. What will he judge you as? Will you be a sheep or a goat? The sheep. We say the farm, we can. We mix up that word, that plural word. We say sheep. But if you're going to be a sheep of God, then that means you're going to be a servant. If you're going to be a goat, old hard head goat, what can we tell you about them goat things go on? They just go head hard and they go on. The hardest head go right up on them and they go on. I don't know why. And they want to do what they like. They don't want to rule. That's the logic of the side where you can be a sheep or a goat. So I look at Christ the King today. Think of him as a servant. He was a good sheep. Why do we use the word sheep? See, I'm, I'm, I'm saying things that I think you might ask in your head. Why do we call good people, good Christian servants, sheep? Because sheep follow the master. Sheep follow the shepherd. And we want to be a dumb sheep. But we want you to be a sheep so you can follow the master. When he calls, you follow. When he leads, you follow. If you were the goat, you would never follow. So I don't know about y'all, but I'm a sheep. I'm a big age sheep, but I'm a sheep. We all are called to be sheep. To follow Christ the king. So to be a king, in his mind, is to be a servant. In his name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We stand now for the intercession. Prayer with the people. And these sessions are found in the through baptism, we have been raised with Christ, ordained to a royal priesthood, and made citizens in a holy nation. As faithful priests serving the King of Kings, let us be the state for all the world, saying, In the name of Jesus our King, hear our prayer. Almighty God, Sovereign Majesty, as your 
become the priests and perform their children who do not confess to the Lord. Enable us to live the good news and continue that all may inherit life eternal in the kingdom of heaven. In the name of Jesus our King. Almighty God, you of all nations, cause the leaders of nations to recognize your sovereignty and to accept your gracious rule. Make their performance of peace and love of justice. Crown each rule with compassion that all peoples may live in peace. In the name of Jesus our King. Almighty God, merciful and heart, look with pity on all who suffer, those with incurable disease, those unjustly imprisoned, those denied dignity, the hungry, those without shelter, those who live without hope. Direct us toward them, that their royalty may be reclaimed and their lives are free for grace. In the name of Jesus our King. Almighty God, Lord of the Church, we pray for your holy Catholic Church on earth. Gather all who bear the name of Christ into one vigorous, fruitful community of faith, that the world may see one King of glory and one kingdom of grace. In the name of Jesus our King. Almighty God, benevolent judge, we pray for all the people gathered there to seek your grace. By your mercy, prepare us for the day of judgment, that you may accept it as a rich and royal gift for the eternal pleasure of the faithful. In the name of Jesus, our King. Grant me in the petition of God, according to your perfect will, that your holy name may be praised and proclaimed, so that name and all the faithful shall gather before your throne in heaven, for the merit of Christ the King. Amen. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just, and He will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. My brothers and sisters, let us kneel as we confess our sins. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and one another in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have left of us. All that is past, Almighty oh God, mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you, Lord, that this is keeping your life eternal. To Jesus Christ, our Lord. We stand up as we exclaim the peace from one another. Peace of the Lord be to all. God bless you. Our offertory hymn in which you can put your offering in the box in the front of the back. Offertory hymn.
Church of God, Catholic Father. We thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Send us now into the world of peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you and all folks within you. Gladness and singleness of heart for your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Be upon you and remain with you today and forevermore. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Please be seated for a moment or two. Next Sunday is Advent Sunday, beginning of the season of Advent, four week season of Advent for Christmas. Only the Lord knows that Christmas is happy here. Still keep somehow celebrating for Christ. Might not be anything like mass, but we'll see how it goes. We will see. But as long as I know I'll let you know. What will happen? You might have done some main service Christmas morning. Instead of this evening. In our prayers, we want to have sympathies and donances to the family of the late Andrew James. Passed away on Tuesday after a lengthy illness. Her mother, Marjorie Palmer, her daughter, her two sons, and her husband, Eddie Dave, Richard Ferguson, her sister, many other family members in Jesus' temple. She will be buried on Friday. Well, she will be cremated. The ashes will be interred in the Cathedral Hall of Mary. The diocese is looking for personal testimony on your phone. If you want to give a personal testimony, you can do that. Or you can videotape yourself or record yourself um, and pass it on to me or the team that will pass it on to the relevant authorities. They want to know how people are coping with COVID. No more than two minutes, please. Um, how, how has it been? And um, how God has kept you during this time? If you're interested, do a, a, a video or a, or a voice or a video on the phone. I read for you about the 2021 offering envelopes have arrived. A lot of people are sending their money through the bank, not a lot, but some. And, uh, I don't know which envelopes that are still please. By the way, as I went through the list of envelope givers, I realized that a lot of people are way behind in their envelopes. I know it's hard in this pandemic time. But if you can catch up with it, you are earning a salary. Or some kind of pay. Please try to catch up on the envelopes before you have to be Sunday school, tomorrow at 12 noon online. I think that's all the announcements I have tonight today. God bless you. Anyone celebrating birthdays, anniversaries? Mr. Monte, your birthday is me? Yes, sir. Wow. How?